Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, got some very serious news we're going to be covering today. Here, today's August the 29th, 2024. We're going to be talking about uh, something that is coming out of U.S. Civic News there about uh, Ukraine launching a ballistic missile towards Moscow. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Temple Mount. Very interesting things, even with Rabbi Mitzrachi confirming the very words that I've said to you before about using the Temple Mount uh, or using this Hezbollah war as a means to uh, go and strike the Dome of the Rock. Uh, also, the Christian, certain Christian groups out there very much for the destruction of the Dome of the Rock. Uh, even in one of the uh, very uh, federal uh, uh, official buildings in Jerusalem, Temple Mount picture with no Dome of the Rock there. Uh, going into some, a few other little issues there we'll be talking about today. So let's get right with it. I wanted to kind of give you that little brief of what we're going to look at first here. Let's go back to the U.S. Civil Defense News. They posted, update, a new Ukrainian ballistic missile will hit something very important in Moscow. This, uh, then Russia will be given an ultimatum. Either leave Ukraine or will destroy Moscow and St. Petersburg. So this is the new threat. It's definitely not Ukraine able to do any of these actions here. This is definitely NATO uh, playing their hand and using their technology. And the danger this poses, though, is that Russia, if they have a significant building, bu building hit in Moscow, by a missile, a cruise missile provided by the United States, UK, or Germany, you can definitely rest assured Russia is going to retaliate, and it may not be anywhere near like what they do to Moscow, especially any, any significant attack that would bring an embarrassment on Russia. As I've said to you before, though, one of my gravest concerns that, is, that, that I'm concerned about right now is the Dome of the Rock being destroyed by a missile uh, during this war with Hezbollah. Hez whether it be Hezbollah accidentally destroys it, or if a rogue missile is headed towards the Dome of the Rock and then Israel uh, ca uh, you know, takes advantage of the situation, hitting the Dome of the Rock with their own missile and saying that Iran has done it. Uh, this particular picture here showing the Dome of the Rock said Israel and the IDF protects the Dome of the Rock while Hamas tried to bomb this mosque five times. And the Iron Dome intercepted all the missiles to protect it. If Israel wanted to erase it, they would. No, they won't. They don't want you to think they did it. So what do we have here? We have propaganda. Obvious propaganda. Even as they use three boys... And these three boys may not even represent Christianity, Christianity or the Arabic world. Maybe only a staged event to portray that. I find that interesting in the very least. But here's what's concerning. Rabbi Mitzrahi, he is an Israeli-born rabbi, uh, teaches out of uh, New York. Listen to what he had to say about this issue. It's all moved by Hashem to this location, to that location. We don't know, maybe one of the missiles will hit the mask and clear the place for the third Bet Amikdash. That could also be a, a miracle. If, if it was up to me, the last time when they shot hundreds of missiles, I would pretend that one missile came from Iran and shoot it down. You know? Then all the Arabs will go against Iran, and it will be the end of the problems. You make them fight with each other, this Never bunch late. of lunatics. Never too late. Never too late. You deal with a bunch of cowards. The Israeli leaders, they just want to pass the week. So there you have it, Rabbi Mitzrahi, saying if it was left up to him, while the Iran was shooting all those missiles, he would have took out the Dome of the Rock and blamed it on Iran. I've said that for quite some time, right? Uh, also, medical equipment to Israel uh, by air and by also by sea, with an additional 107 ships carrying aid arriving in Israel since the beginning of the war. 
We also have this one here, Christian Zionist mega pastor Greg Locke says that Israel should destroy the Dome of the Rock so we can get the third temple rebuilt and usher in the second coming of Jesus. <clears throat> this is where you have that false ideology based on, on Daniel's prophecy of chapter 7. No, the building of the third temple will be built by the Antichrist. But listen to what he has to say for yourself. What they ought to do is evacuate up there on the hill and get a great big missile and blow that wicked dome of the rock plumb off of the spot where it's standing right now so we can get that third temple rebuilt and usher in the coming of Jesus. What? So it's not just Mitzrahi calling for it, but even... Christian backing Zionist believing uh, Christians that do the same thing. You just can't get peace, period, because of this. And then, of course, you have this here. Dear children, could you identify what is missing from the picture that hangs in the offices of the Jerusalem District Appeals Committee? Obviously. The Dome of the Rock. That's what's missing. Um, so anyway, deliveries of F-35 jets to the U.S. military have been resumed, but the U.S. government is withholding the final $5 million payment for each jet until the completion of the TR-3 technology upgrade. We'll just add the letter B in there, and then you'll know what type of technology they are going to be sending over to uh, Israel for this fight against the war there. Also, to U.S. Civil Defense uh, News put in here, prediction, stray Iranian missile hits Dome of the Rock, destroying the ancient Muslim holy site, making way for the third Jewish temple. By the way, the guy that runs this channel here is a retired officer of the United States military. And uh, I've been there to the Dome of the Rock. I actually have looked inside of it. You're not allowed to go in as a guy, but they had the doors open to where I could see inside of it. And it was Gershon Solomon that told me this was actually built for the Jewish people. And he said, actually, for all nations, because it was going to be a house of prayer. There's a placard on the wall. He showed me the picture of it when he actually got to enter it in 1967 during the war when they overtook the Temple Mount. And he showed me that placard and what it said in Arabic, and he translated it, that the man that built this built this to be a house of prayer for all nations. So, no, it's not even really a mosque in that regard there. It was built to be a prayer, a house of prayer for, for anyone and everyone to be able to come. So, the Dome of the Rock is not a mosque, says Avi Kenar. It's a shrine. It's not an Al-Aqsa mosque. It's, not, it's, however, the number one holy site in Judaism. It must be open to all people who come to visit and pray in each in peace, regardless of their religion, as simple as that. And that was what Gershon Solomon had brought out to me years ago. Anyway, listen, before I share the next thing, I want to say something to you that are listening. These things that my wife brings out, especially in light of the Noahide laws and uh, all these evils that are happening in the world today where she wakes you up and really digs deep, there is a lot of hindrance for her. And it has to do because of the evils that have been done to our family, to her father who suffered a tragic death and so many people trying to silence us. We have been attacked on every level you could ever even imagine, even accused by some in government as being flat earthers, something that we are further from any truth that could ever be. But as if it really had, if it, we, even if we were, what would it have to do with bringing about justice for a man? that lost his life, according to the pathologist, by homicide. Well, we're going to go in this evening in our live Zoom broadcast. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you so you can see for yourself stephenbenoon.com 
you're welcome to come to that. Yana will be there with me. We will be talking about this case. And the requirement is, though, is that you come by video because we need to know who is coming in. If you have only a phone to be able to join with, you need to email us to make sure it's someone we know that we will allow in that can hear the intimate details about this case and what's going on. We do need your help financially. <clears throat> it has not been an, even, e an easy endeavor by no stretch of the imagination. It has been a very difficult financial hardship because the state just didn't know how to proceed. This was a crime that has been committed, that has been above and beyond the norm. But it's going to be made known. And that's not too far off. If you want to help support this broadcast, please, or not just the broadcast, but in this endeavor, <clears throat> to bring this justice. I need my wife back is what I need. I need her back standing here, sharing her incredible knowledge on the Noahide laws, exposing uh, false Zionism. Me teaching those things biblically to you, but she is a strong asset and we need her back. We really do. But we've got to get her past this hump and your financial help is going to make that happen. You may not know why that's needed. She can share maybe that with you tonight. But please consider donating. IsraeliNewsLive.org I'll take you to the website so you can see. Then we're going to talk about one more thing before closing. But if you go to IsraeliNewsLive.org <clears throat> the best way, <clears throat> especially in this case here, if you make the donation, you can say it's for justice. Just put that in the comment. And you can donate right there online by clicking right there on, under the Donate Online. If you prefer to do it by check by mail, sorry about all these pop-ups, Danun Institute, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee 37872. Again, just put on the, the four part on the bottom left of your check there for justice. That way we know you want this to go towards helping the extreme financial costs that we've had to endeavor to bring to light for these district attorneys the real evidence. And it's an ongoing endeavor. It hasn't stopped yet. So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, and the again, the website, it'll appear here on top of your screen. StephenBenoon.com is our live Zoom broadcast, and you can watch that tonight on Zoom. It's a private, it will not be made public. So if you want to come again, we, you have to come in by video so we know who's coming in, and we would love to have you and to share that deeper information. Also, one other thing I wanted to share with you. Um, this is for people that have been wondering. You've heard a little bit about the testimonies on X39, uh, the LifeWave product. I want to show you some absolutely stunning images of how people have changed physically. Uh, first, I'm going to play a little clip here. This was from our Zoom on Sunday nights that we have at 8 p.m. It's www.x39hub.com. You're always welcome to come join. Even if you're not a member or anything, you're still welcome to join. Listen to a little bit about what uh, is shared with us here by Jason Miller, but also one other surprise. About, you know, I've lost 27 pounds in 14 months just having the x39 and the eon patch on me every single day and it's it's cutting my cortisol levels and my body's just dropping junk i couldn't even get into a suit for a wedding two years ago and a couple months ago i got right into it no big deal couldn't even slide it over my behind the other you know prior to that and it slid right over buttoned right up and then i went and jumped on the scale and i lost 27 pounds i mean it's weird jumping on the scale not even thinking about your weight 
and you realize you lost 27 pounds. Like I've never not, done. I'm not breaking the scale. Yeah. Hey, Jason, usually, before, before you cut out, let me, I want two things I want to do before you cut anyway, out. I got to jump off here though, guys, but, um, all right, what, time, what time is the meeting on the other one there? Nine o'clock. Did you go to there? Yeah. Nine o'clock. Okay, can you share that one more time? And Ron, if you can post it in the link below, I want to make sure we stop about five minutes till so other people can go. But Jason, before you go, I want you to see one thing so you can think about this when you go over there. Bonnie Harvey, with uh, she's on Hebrew Nation Radio. She give permission for us to share her picture. She's using X39. She's been on it for about seven months. And she was flying into Spain. They stopped her at customs. Okay, they stopped her at customs. When they stopped her at customs, they were arguing with her if she was really the person uh, in the picture because the picture didn't look like the person standing before them. All right. Bonnie mm -hmm. is 77 years old. Okay, 77 years old. And she said we could share with her what X39 has done for her. So here we go. We're going to share the screen right now. That's Bonnie Harvey at 77 years old. Crazy. And she has definitely changed dramatically since me and Yana saw her about, what was it, five years ago, Yana? And when we did a meeting in Oregon and she yes. had that meeting. Yes. And she she sent me this yeah. picture just the other day and I was shocked because she signed up with us quite early on and she is using it religiously. I mean, she can't be without patch, but uh, so yes, amazing stuff, how she looks at her age and, and her yeah. energy and just, she loves the patches, absolutely loves them. All right, that one there, the other one I wanted to sh uh, share with you as well, this young fellow right here, John Moore. Now, I don't know when John took this picture. I'm sure a few years back. He's 77 years old now. Uh, he still looks relatively young. This is I know this was taken in his 70s, probably about the time I met him when he was about 71, 72. So I've, I've known John probably six, seven, maybe eight years, something like that. And uh, we've met several times in person. This was with him on the Liberty Man a year ago a year ago with Mike Adams, sorry, not Liberty Man, Mike Adams there. And you can see here, you, uh, even like in this first picture there, John's got, he got a little bit of crow's feet and stuff. As he was saying, he used to like jokingly like to say he's going to have the Clint Eastwood look as he gets older. And uh, this one here as well, you can see a little bit of that there too. And then we were on a Zoom call with him the other day. And when we were on it, I could not believe the change. There John is now. His skin, and I even said it to him because he had been mentioning that his, his wrinkles around his eyes had left him. They have. Uh, his face, every, I mean, just like Bonnie. I mean, absolutely amazing. And so if you want to learn more about it, you can see even our regular website now, now has our LifeWave links. You can just go to IsraeliNewsLive.org and you could click on LifeWave right there. Uh, actually, you'd be clicking on, let's see, right about, well, let me see because they kind of overlap, uh, EMP Shield and that. Yeah, you go right up under the EMP Shield word there. You can see the click here button. When you click on that, it's going to take you straight to our website, lifewave.com forward slash Benun. You can either shop, just be a customer, and get whichever one you want. Uh, the performance package is very good because it's X39, X49. It's great for also for EMF protection. Stimulates your stem cells, X39. And the testimonies are just endless. Uh, if you're looking for it as a business, just click the join button there and go. I would go minimum a silver. You can always go up higher as you go, but that's a one time fee. They load you with the products no matter which level you choose. The higher you go, the more the product, but also the higher the commissions you earn. That's the difference on that. And uh, and we have even just doctors. All doctors do it is they sell it as retail. Uh, so when people tell you about schemes, no, there's no scheme. 
If you want to participate in, in direct sales, you can. But uh, you can be just a physician or a person with a clinic and you want to, to market this in your clinic, you can do it just by clicking join. You can order par products in bulk and just sell directly to the people. It's all up to you how you do it. Anyway, we want to thank you. Thank you, especially thank you guys for those of you that can help support this very serious need. By the way, my wife's father's site's on our website now too. Tells you more about the store. You can click on that. You can even donate directly on that site if you want. Sorry, I got a pop up there. Uh, but you can read more about it. You can read about the court case, the decision there. Uh, Kerry has been found uh, liable for his death. Uh, uh, just as only one doctor. I won't say anything else on that as of yet, but uh, she was found liable already. And uh, But there are other extenuating circumstances that we are fighting for right now. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you and have a blessed day. And again, you can come into the Zoom meeting tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, live today, and listen to more about this. But be sure you come in video, at least until we get you accepted in. And then if you want to turn it off, I don't think my wife would have a problem with that afterwards, but she wants to identify who's there. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.